When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. So that happened. Congratulations to President Obama for winning a second term and a chance to continue pushing forth with his agenda. But I can tell you right now, Mr. Obama, that you have about two more hours before the American people start saying, what have you done for me lately? So everybody get back to work. It was particularly interesting to watch Fox News last night, flipping through all the network channels and all the websites online. It was interesting to see them manipulate the message that they were saying at all times. Not only were they holding off on certain states that other networks had already called for the president, but even when they did call a state for the president, they would spin it by saying that the exit polls showed that the message wasn't with the president, but the votes just happened to go for him. Then there was a pathetically laughable instance of Fox News calling Ohio for Obama and then allowing hyper-partisan political operative Karl Rowe to force them to try to justify calling the state for the president. Here they are, stopping everything and saying Karl Rove says we should get to the bottom of this and sending Megyn Kelly runway walking down the hall to talk to the numbers guy saying Karl Rove says we shouldn't do this. How embarrassing was that? Now, I'm admittedly pleased by the outcome of this election, more than anything because I believe that a defeat of President Obama and the Democrats in this case would have been a step back for us socially for all the progress that we've been making over the years. I think the Supreme Court is incredibly crucial, and I think it was not mentioned nearly enough during this election. And I'm really happy that it's not Mitt Romney making the next choice of the next one or two Supreme Court justices. I think the social conservatives have had a stranglehold on our government for far too long, and they need a string of defeats to put them in their place. And I don't think having a former pastor of a church would move us toward progress in social equality. Now let's give props to Nate Silver of 538, whose statistical algorithm predicted pretty accurately what would happen in this election. His last forecast was for Obama to win 313 electoral votes and Romney to get 225. As it stands at this moment, with Florida still out, Obama has 303 and Romney has 206. Obama is currently projected to win Florida. Silver's popular vote projection was 50.8% for Obama and 48.3% for Romney. Right now, the numbers stand at 50.4% for Obama and 48.1% for Romney. Goddamn math is an awesome thing. Did anybody notice that the Twitterverse blew up last night with hashtag nigger trending on Twitter as anti-Obama racists blossed their shit? Once again, putting a lie to the racism doesn't exist in America anymore meme. Speaking of dumbass ignorant people, I'm really happy that it looks like Blackenstein Alan West is going down in flames. I can't wait till he gets himself a Fox TV show or starts doing a video blog on YouTube from his car in traffic, which black conservatives seem to really like to do. Seriously, what is up with that? What is up with conservative black men doing video blogs from their cars while they're driving? And on top of that, they have the gall to claim to be intellectuals or have common sense when they're doing one of the stupidest things you can do, which is a video blog while driving in traffic. Now, right now, I'm parked because doing this YouTube video while driving would be a sign of idiocy. Seriously, if you have anybody who is trying to give you life lessons from their video blog while they're driving in traffic, ignore them because they've already failed the sensibility test. Now, I know this probably seems kind of random to you guys, but I've noticed lately that maybe it's because I'm a black male doing a video blog that a lot of the attached video blogs on the side here are black males doing video blogs from their cars while driving. And they all seem to be conservative, which is moronic. But I digress. In conclusion, election 2012 is over and I cannot be more pleased that it's done. Not only because my guys won, but because I won't have to see any more political commercials and get any more fundraiser emails. Now, it's time to get to work.
there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.